Okay, we are back here. As you can see, pop the back side loose here. And again, just a matter of wiggling a little bit, and it just pops right out. And just like your other side, you'll notice you got a fair amount of residue here from the tires. It's going to need to be cleaned up um, beforehand. Another area that you want to take a look at before you reassemble is in between the bolts here. Especially, I uh, might want to take either a, a green scratch pad or maybe some steel wool here to just go through and, and clean this area to make sure you get a nice, clean, flat seal in between the two pieces once it goes back together. Um, so we'll just set this aside. And this is what you're left with. As you can see on the inside here. This is your internal bead lock right here. Basically like a big piece of conveyor belt. And it's got two holes on opposite sides here. And that's how your air actually gets internal once everything's reassembled. And we'll go over that during the uh, assembly video because you got to make sure that you line up. This hole sits in between two of your, uh, your mounting studs. So. To get this, this piece out, it's not too bad, it can be a little tricky sometimes. Take your hammer and gently kind of tap it. Tap it sideways here in order to get a, a lip that you can grab a hold of. And what we're essentially going to do is try to take the circle and squeeze it together and kind of pull up at the same time. So we'll get some, some pressure going here and then just kind of slide one side out, the other side, just kind of work it back and forth until it pops out. It's not too bad. And again, there you can see these are your, your fill holes on the inside. It's a fairly heavy, heavy duty piece. And this is the, uh, there are two, at least when I picked it up in, uh, in 09, there were actually two designs, two model numbers for these things depending on the type of tire you run. So. If you do end up picking these things up, you want to be uh, specific when you're ordering with the folks over at Hutchinson to let them know what kind of tire you'll be running because it's, it makes a difference as to which bead lock you're going to run internally. And that is essentially, that's essentially it. Um, reassembly, like I said, I'm going to do a different video for that. It's essentially the same process, just reversed, not too bad. Um, this is probably the, the worst part of the process was disassembly, to be honest. Reassembling takes a little bit of time to get all the nuts and everything torqued down, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. There's your tire, ready for remounting. All right, I guess that's it. Thank you much for watching.